Thank you for reading aloud with the Reach Out and Read Colorado team and our families. During these challenging times, reading together as a family is more important than ever before. Please join us today on Colorado Gives Day to ensure that all families throughout the state have the resources and tools necessary to read aloud together every single day. Coles, what's this book called that we're going to read? Must Stop on Market Street. Must Stop on Market Street. Last Stop on Market Street. Words by Matt de la Pena. Pictures by Christian Robinson. Last Stop on Market Street. Last Stop on Market Street, right? Market Street. Market Street. Last Stop on Market Street. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also smelled like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. He ducked under his Nana's umbrella, saying, how come we gotta wait for the bus and all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time, but never saw a straw. Where's the straw? What do you think the straw is? This? And maybe the tree trunk? From the bus stop, he watched water pool, thank you, on flower petals. He watched rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed That's my in. name! That is your name, Colby! His friend Colby climbed in and gave CJ a wave. That's your name. How cool is that? That this kid's name is Colby and your name is? Colby. Colby. And he drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't got a car? Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire and old Mr. Dennis who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sagged and the doors swung open. What's that I see, Mr. Dennis asked. He pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear and he gave it to him. Nana laughed her deep laugh and pushed CJ along. They sat right up front. Ooh, he come. <laughs> the man across the way was tuning up. What's that? Umbrella. A guitar. There's the umbrella. He, the man was tuning a guitar. And an old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a great big smile and a good afternoon, and she made sure that CJ did the same. The bus lurched forward and stopped, lurched forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she met. How come we always gotta go here after church, CJ said. Miguel and Col Colby never have to go nowhere. I feel sorry for those boys, she told him. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo or the sunglass man and I hear Trixie got herself a brand new hat. CJ stared out the window feeling sorry for himself. He watched cars zip by on either side, watched a group of boys hop curbs on bikes. A man climbed aboard with a spotted dog. CJ gave up his seat. How come that man can't see? What do you know about seeing? Nana told him. Some people watch the world with their ears. That's a fact, their noses too, the man said, sniffing the air. That's a mighty fine perfume you're wearing today. Nana squeezed the man's hand and laughed her deep laugh. Two older boys got on next, and CJ watched as they moved on by and stood in the back. They're wearing headphones, aren't they, in their ears? listening to music on headphones. Um, sure wish I had one of those, he said. Nana set down her knitting. What for? You got the real life thing sitting across from you. He's closing his mm -hmm. eyes. He's, he's closing his eyes. You ready? I hear this part about closing eyes. Why don't you ask the man if he'll play us a song? CJ didn't even have to. The guitar player was already plucking strings and beginning to sing. The blind man whispered. Nana closed hers too. Can you close yours? Yeah. So did CJ and this guy. And in the darkness, the rhythm lifted CJ out of the bus, out of the busy city. He saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves. 
saw a family of hawks slicing through the sky, saw the old woman's butterflies dancing free in the light of the moon. CJ's chest grew full and he was lost in the sound and the sound gave him the feeling of magic. The, the song ended and CJ opened his eyes. Everyone on the bus clapped, even the boys in the back. Nana glanced at the coin in CJ's palm. CJ dropped it in the man's hat. Ready? Last stop on Market Street, Mr. Dennis called. CJ looked around as he stepped off the bus. Crumbling sidewalks, broken down doors, graffiti tag windows, and boarded up stores. He reached for Nana's hand. How come it's always so dirty over here? She smiled and pointed to the sky. Sometimes when you're surrounded by dirt, CJ, you're a better witness for what's beautiful. CJ saw the perfect rainbow arching over their soup kitchen. He wondered how his Nana always found beautiful whenever- It's big. It is such a big rainbow. What colors uh, do you see in it? Oh, I can get a big rainbow. I hope you get a big rainbow too. He wondered how his Nana always found beautiful, where he never even thought to look. He looked all around them again, at the bus rounding the corner out of sight, and the broken street lamp still lit up bright, and the stray cat shadows moving across the wall. When he spotted their familiar faces in the window, he said, I'm glad we came. He thought his Nana might laugh her deep laugh, but she didn't. She patted him on the head and told him, me too, CJ. Now, come on.